Let's start solving uh, today's lead code daily challenge question. So the question is count servers that communicate. You are given a map of server center represented as M cross N integer matrix gray, where one means that on that cell there is a server, zero means they, that it is uh, no server. Okay. So two servers are said to communicate if they are on the same row or on the same column. Return the number of servers that communicate with other. So if we see this example, if the servers are on the same row and same column or same column, then we can say it is uh, it can communicate with the other server. Then we have to what return how many servers that communicate with any other server. So if you see this example here, is there any one other server which is in the same row or same column? No. So this cannot communicate with any one uh, because it is not theirs, right? For this also same so zero no servers can communicate with others okay so if you see this example this can communicate with this this can communicate with this again this can communicate with this that means three servers are there that can communicate with any other so you can see the answer is three now if you see this example if you see this example here this, com this server can communicate with this and this can communicate with this. So, 2. This can communicate with this. This can also communicate with this. So, total 4. This cannot communicate with any other server because uh, there is no, uh, it is not in the row or same row or same column. So, 4. Okay. So, how we will solve this question is, see, we have to what? We have to return number number of servers which can communicate okay not the not the numbers which like no not the indexes which they are asked that this can communicate with this so return this okay we have to just give a number a number of servers which can communicate with any other like if suppose there are here here it was one more server this can communicate with this or this can communicate with this right because on the same row but it will be it will be counted as one because we have to just find if it is able to communicate with other yes then okay then we will consider it we don't care with whom it is communicating okay but we only care is if it is communicating yes if it is not then okay no uh, we will not add a count so what we will do is we will use a simple approach okay of uh, here first thing brute force approach will be you will use a two loop okay for this and again you will use like first you will loop for i okay i i zero to n and again in that for j zero to m Again in that for this for this cell okay for this cell you have to check this column and this row so you have to write for this column uh, or you can say traverse row this will be the brute force and again same way traverse column and then if anything is there we will increment count this will be the brute force okay which is of, of course not a good approach because every time you will go and check every for each cell you will be doing the same thing right so no you will not, we will uh, this is a brute force now let's see how we will optimize see here the main thing is we only care if it is communicating or not we don't care with whom okay so for that we can uh, use of two arrays which store how many servers are there in that row or in that column let's say here two servers are there so for each server i will check if the count is uh, uh, if the count is greater than zero okay and then uh, then we will write what we will say this is communicating with this okay so the count should be greater than one you can say okay because the current one and the next one so greater than one not zero so we will use two arrays 
let's say row count is equal to new what will the size we will take uh, two variables int int n is equal to grid dot length int m is equal to grid of i or uh, grid of zero dot length okay now uh, here n and int column count is equal to new int m okay so now what we have to do we have to traverse each cell okay so then only we will be able to uh, like write right i mean we have to update this row count and column count s then n for int j is equal to 0 j less than m j plus plus and if my grid of uh, i j is equal to 1 that means it is a or this is a server okay at that place so that time we, what we will do row count of which row i through plus plus and column count of which j plus plus okay now we got our row count and column count then what we have to do is int answer will take int we have to return what int so int answer is equal to for each we will check same thing for each we have to check right so here i'll write if my grid of i j equal to 1 okay that means it is a server so we will check if my row count of i is greater than 1 or because or right either the row or column the same thing we are, we are not uh, using like in the question it is given right here you can see if they are on the same row or same column okay so or same column Okay, that means there exists one more server. So, we will increment our answer. And at the end, we will return our answer. Yeah, here you can see accepted. So, what we did, first we calculated our this array uh, values. That is row count, column count. So, for example, if we see this, in this row 2, row 1, 1 and 1 okay so a row wise this okay in this column let's say if you see this example first row two second one third one third one fourth one okay now what is the first column one second column one third column two fourth column one so if you see this two okay for this i will check what first row and first column first row yes two are there that means greater than one so one more is there so we can communicate so we'll add in our answer if we see this one and one no we cannot because in the second row and second column okay uh, not this i will check for this okay if i check for this this is the second column and this is the second row yes not this okay first row and second column okay not uh, don't confuse this and this this is in the which it is in first row and second column so first row and second column okay so first row two so one more is there so this can communicate with this so we'll add in our answer and if you see this example this cell this is what second row and third column so second row and third column so you can see in column there are two either either row or column we have uh, any of is okay right for our uh, this cell to communicate with okay so in this way we we are writing this code and uh, yeah if it's sub yeah 